Jay Leno is taking steps to protect his longtime wife, Mavis, as she battles dementia. On Friday, the 73-year-old filed for conservatorship of his wife's estate, a form of legal guardianship over an adult. The comedian seeking to manage his wife's finances, including creating a trust for her in case of his own death. While it's unclear when the 77-year-old was first diagnosed with dementia, the filing states that Mavis has been progressively losing capacity and orientation to space and time for several years, and that her current condition renders her incapable of executing the estate plan. According to a doctor's report from November, Mavis suffers from impairments to her concentration and memory, including her ability to recognize familiar faces. The CDC estimates there are more than 5 million people in the U.S. age 65 and over with dementia. By 2060, that number is expected to skyrocket to 14 million. When a loved one is having difficulty with making decisions, most are all the time, especially making decisions that you know, pose a, a risk to their own safety. That's when it's required really to kind of take on that role as a decision maker on their behalf. Leno has often talked about his dedicated marriage to Mavis. Always marry your conscience. Marry the person you wish you could be. Mavis, known for her work on behalf of women in Afghanistan. The couple a staple in Hollywood at red carpets and events, and even on set during Jay's storied run as host of The Tonight Show. Back in 2022, when Jay suffered severe burns from a garage fire, he opened up to Hoda about heading home to his wife before checking himself into the hospital. Why did you decide to go home and stay home for that night? Well, because my wife doesn't drive anymore. And I didn't want her stuck and not knowing what was going on. So you loved your wife more than you worried about yourself. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was, was that it? Just a few months ago in November, the couple made their last public appearance at a comedy club, side by side as they have been for more than 40 years. We reached out to Jay Leno's team for further comment and have not heard back. The couple does not have any children, but Mavis's brother is mentioned as her sole heir aside from her husband. The petition also states that Jay Leno has always handled their finances and believes Mavis would agree to the conservatorship. All right, Stephanie, thank you so much. Uh, this story it might have a lot of people planning ahead for themselves, wondering what they should do for their families. Let's bring in Vicki Wynn. So, Vicki, this is one of those very difficult conversations that you're not sure when you should have it. When is the right time to start planning for a conservatorship? The sooner, the better. Well, you don't always have to plan for a conservatorship. This is really something that you put into place if you don't have an estate plan, and that is the situation here. It's a legal guardianship of an adult, and this only happens if that adult is no longer competent to handle their affairs mm -hmm. or to designate someone to do that. Perhaps most famously, Britney Spears and her father in recent memory. There are a couple kinds of conservatorships. One is the limited, where you're just having control over finances. The full conservatorship, give someone the same rights and responsibilities over another adult as a parent would have over a child, according to smartasset.com. Mm -hmm. So if you're in this situation, how would you set one up and how, mm -hmm. who decides whether it's granted? It's a legal process, Savannah. You have to file a petition with the courts and it's cumbersome. You've got to have lawyers. The uh, individual needs to have their own attorney. Their family members need to be notified. And as we're seeing, it becomes a part of the public record. That's sort of how we're learning about the, the Leno situation. Mm -hmm. uh, and so experts we talk to you say you really want to consider estate planning. You don't want to wait until you've been incapacitated because of old age or illness, or in this case, a dementia diagnosis. A state plan. Okay, so if you do want to plan ahead, yeah. let's say you see this and you say, okay, let's go. What should you be doing? So important. No one wants to have this conversation, but we have to think life is fragile. Things can change in an mm -hmm. instant. It doesn't take a dementia diagnosis for things to be upended, right? So if you have this conversation ahead of time, you're saving your loved ones a lot of heartache during what would be a tough time anyway, and potentially fighting with the family. Otherwise, it's all left up to the courts if you don't oh. prepare, right? It goes through the laws in your state and the courts decide who makes these decisions for you. So we talked with Paulina Mejia. She's the National Fiduciary Council for the Fiduciary Trust Company International. I had to write that down because mm -hmm. I didn't want to get that wrong. But she says basically start with the will. We all know what that is. Yeah. It determines who gets what. And importantly, if you have kids, it determines who are the guardians of your children. And here's the thing. Revisit that will. Who you decided maybe 10 years ago yeah. that you wanted to raise your kids could be someone different today. Then you want to have three important, powerful legal documents attached to your will. First, a durable power of attorney. This assigns the person who will be able to make financial decisions if you cannot. That mm -hmm. is an important power. Then a health care proxy. This is the person who says, look, 
if you're incapacitated, should we get that surgery? Do we want to have this procedure? Mm -hmm. You're giving them the power to do that. It can be different from who is your power of attorney, yeah. by the way. And then finally, the living will. This is a document that states specifically what kind of medical interventions you want to have in case of a life support situation, a life sustaining situation. Is the idea that if you had done these things in advance, you, you could might not have to get to this yeah. conservatorship Correct. step? which is, is much more cumbersome. So exactly. if you wanted to get started today, exactly. what, what would you do? This is so important. So a lot of times you have this conversation, maybe if you've gone to a financial planner, but really you want to, to handle it through a trust and a state lawyer mm -hmm. because these are powerful legal documents. You don't want to do it yourself. And these days you've got Gen Z, you have millennials, you have people who are in situationships. They're living together for a long time. Maybe they're not married. Yeah. If something happens, you might want your partner to make these decisions for you, but the state law might say, no, it's going to be your mom or dad or your sibling. So you want to make sure those documents are in order. You can do this for around $1,000 or $1,500. It's a small investment really to save a lot of heartache later on. And you have free resources. The Alzheimer's Association and AARP have all kinds of documents and questionnaires so that you can get the conversation started with your family and know where to go. And so many things we haven't even, we haven't yeah. done. I mean, I know. it's like checklist things right? to do. So an important now, conversation. The law does not yet recognize yes. the situation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Thanks. Thanks. I caught that. Yeah. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.